Uh, we're with Mike Sauter here uh, live at the Herd at Sports Bar and Grill. Nebraska men's basketball going up to Wisconsin mm-hmm. uh, tomorrow. They play, I think, exactly at the same time, basically, as yeah. Creighton and Providence. Um, but this is a top 25 Wisconsin team on the road. Nebraska coming off of a very good win against Indiana in a pretty crucial stretch of their schedule here yeah. where they've got not only some opportunities to rack up some wins in terms of early on in the Big Ten, Ten schedule, but get maybe a couple quality wins against teams like Wisconsin as well. How are you viewing the way Nebraska's playing right now as they go into the stretch of at Wisconsin and then Purdue at home? Is it – this is this is the struggle, right? Like – I think Nebraska is probably pretty good. I agree. Like, I don't think that's a hot take. No, I know, but they beat Indiana, and the talk is well, oh, India, Indiana's well, India is not good. I mean, there were twelve. And, well, there were ten and three coming into that game. Indiana was. Yeah, I, but some right. ten and three teams are a little I, overblown. I get. Yeah, that. but people would say that about Nebraska based on their schedule or uh, yeah. who they play. I just maybe. I don't know. You that, know what I'm saying, though. I don't maybe. know that Indiana so. and Nebraska were entirely different teams coming into that game, right? And then the narrative changed pretty quickly after Nebraska did what they did. I mean, Indiana did looked all out of sorts, though. Yeah, for they did. Sure, look good. they didn't. Look um, good. Why? Because of that Nebraska defense. Yeah, they played. Nebraska played really well. They I mean, did. Case, also, there was a time in the late, like not late, but I guess mid, about the eight minute mark that they just left Casey Tominaga <laughs> at the top of the key. Like don't, they just like, don't do that. Ran away from him. Don't do that. And this was already after he was kind of on a heater. And I'm like, wow, that was not in the scouting report at all. For sure. hundred percent. So I, you can't, if they get him going, I, I will say the guy, like the key for them, obviously I think Rick mass, we talked about this. He is, Without question, the most important player on the team. No question. Like they don't. If he's out for a while they, or something, they need him. They're struggling. They, in order to win, they have to have him on mm-hmm. the court. Which credit to him because he was laboring a little bit at the beginning of the game. Then I think as he got a little looser and get some sweat, that dude sweats a lot. <laughs> so like as he as he kind of got going, I think he stepped it up pretty well and and got a little more comfortable. But he is vital. Um, to their success but I Jamarcus Lawrence is a guy that probably isn't getting as he doesn't score he isn't the leading scorer and all that stuff but he's settling things at the I won't call it point guard but uh lead ball handler primary ball handler. <laughs> yeah like yeah. lead guard spot it's not really is, a real point guard on yeah no yeah and that's fine because of the way they play and they get if they can get the effort stuff when Josiah Alec came to Nebraska his role or their intention for him wasn't to score 12 to 15 points a game and get six rebounds. It was do what he did against Indiana. Mm -hmm. Didn't attempt a field goal, but he had a huge impact on the game. He didn't even attempt one. Yep. Huge impact on the game. Um, you know, rebounded everything, had a couple steals, was the first to the floor guy in a key situation Eight after rebounds, he tipped the ball. Three assists, two steals. Yeah, like that. That's a right? great that's for what his role is, that's a great line. Get, it's four they need him to be four rebounds and uh or sorry, six rebounds, maybe four points. Uh yeah, six rebounds, four points, a block. And give me the five fouls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's what they need from him. Yeah. And and effort plays and and just defend. So I think that's it. And Juwan Gary's obviously CJ Wilcher off the bench has been fantastic. Yeah. But right there, CJ Wilcher. Yeah. So John Rothstein tweeted this out last night. In the five game winning streak, thirteen point eight points per game, fifty percent from three point range, mm-hmm. and that he could be the Huskers version of Tyrus McGee, Tyrus McGee, who played Tyrus, for Hoiberg yeah. at at, at yeah. Iowa State. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't really. Uh, Rostin and I don't get along <laughs> That's all right. in my brain very much. But doesn't mean um, you can't agree with. with anytime one thing that you just have, you know, a, you're like a bot um, with stuff. <laughs> it's a little hard for me. But um, I mean, it was good. Yeah, hey, give him attention. CJ the other night was huge just because of the foul trouble that mm-hmm. they got in with Bryce and Juwan and stuff. He him coming in knocking down shots was. Uh, very much so what they needed. They need him to come in off the bench. If he can and provide some sort of scoring punch, yeah. he's been fantastic. 
he is so he is so mature. That's the thing about this team. It's really mature. Like the the culture piece that mm-hmm. is thrown around a mm-hmm. lot, and you know, Fred and I talked about their culture and things in the off season. If people haven't seen that, uh, you can go find it somewhere on the YouTube's or whatever. But it, this group is very much so about one another. I feel like um, there's no me, me, me guys, and um, they're they're. It feels like they're old. <laughs> they're not real old. I mean, frankly, they're just not. Um, but they're super mature. So they fit Fred's personality, I think. Um, you know, Bryce is doing well too. The rotations kind of thinned up, but CJ is squarely the sixth man, and and that's okay because I think he's provides a, an important piece and energy off the bench and some scoring punch. We'll see tomorrow. I mean, Wisconsin's playing well. That's That'd be a top 25 win on the road if Nebraska That'd be can huge. get it. That'd be, be a huge. An enormous win for They Nebraska. moved up in Kempom from yesterday they had a 49, I think, 48. Um, there were 53 yesterday. And then net ratings 52, I believe, um, without having it in front of me or notes. But uh, that is pretty good. Are yeah. they ranked if they beat Wisconsin? 49 yeah. in Ken Palm. I think so. Yeah, I mean, they'd almost have to be. They'd be 13 and 2 with a top 25 road win coming off yeah. into, the, into the rankings. I think they're close ish right now. I they mean, should they're, be. They're yeah. right in the conversation. And then, you know, what happens? Listen, Tuesday at 8 p.m. in Lincoln against Purdue is going to be lit. Oh, like yeah. that place. With the way is, they're playing right yeah, now, that place is oh, going to be on fire. Remember how they played against Creighton? Especially not very good. Right. The way they're playing they now, out, with a win. it's going to be. Uh, yeah. it's going to be tough. If for they Purdue. if they can go in to Wisconsin and beat them, uh, Tuesday is going to be wild in there. It will be anyway, because even if they go to Wisconsin yeah. and like, let's say they lose by five or something close. It's still gonna like yeah, okay, fumble right. it away and lose yeah. by twenty. The vault's gonna be bad. yeah, it'll be crazy. But if they're coming off of a win, it's gonna be a different. Oh level. The yeah, energy level yeah. going. Look, in the pressure ramps up now. Every single game, it, they keep winning the and winning and winning. Yeah, like yeah. how do they handle that? Is kind of that's something they're not familiar. Programs with. never been there. Really, they haven't. I mean, best start <laughs> like, since the nineties. We're talking the yeah. DME era. Yeah. That's Mike Sauter, our senior basketball analyst here at Herd at Sports. We appreciate you. Have a safe trip up to yeah, safe Wisconsin, travels, man. Yeah. Keep on trucking. Coming up next, we've got a little, uh, we're going to play a little game. Yep. Here on Hard Sports Radio.